All right, guys, so back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to hop into the AGL Super Vegito EZA, um, which does seem like it's going to be very, very easy. Now, one thing I do notice about this, right, is that this Vegito uh, is weak to the Transformation Boost category, right? Now, here's the thing about the Transformation Boost category. Right now, the two big leaders are actually STR units, right? But... <laughs> <laughs> one of those two str units is cooler who is like uh, you know on par with some of the best units in the game so uh in total there's what four units no there's five units that have transformation boost leader skills um there's two free to play freezes the second form and then also the golden freezer from the broly movie but their leader skills are so low um ribrian is actually a decent option um that in ribrian that's been on like every banner so you could rock her she does give 120 percent uh, so that's solid, but you know likely you're gonna be using either super boo um, or cooler, right? Those are the two big time leaders here now the roster is just ridiculous for transformation boost obviously here i'm actually gonna back out uh to here so we can see it better but the roster is just ridiculous i mean janemba uh like just looking at the tech type units that we could use here it's, it's again it, it's monstrous like tech golden frieza lr tech broly who i'm not even using here but this this team i'm using is very solid right now um you know lr first form cell is very good here golden coolers fantastic with the two key he gives to the rotation so we don't struggle for key what Whatsoever. love that golden cooler unit um, i'm not using trunks only because of the fact that uh, i believe vegito um, does have a uh, uh, damage reduction buff but let me double check um, against hero tech i believe yeah um starting from stage 20 he does get that 80 percent damage reduction buff against uh, super tech so uh, we're not really going to be able too good there um, so this is a squad i'm using uh, again it's been pure domination uh, any, you know, like, like, okay, so I've been talking about this so much recently, especially in a bunch of videos I have not yet, you know, uploaded, so forgive me, but I can't, like, I can't stop using STR Cooler, like, no matter what, like, all these showcases, all these videos on these units I'm doing, and it's like every single video, STR Cooler is just so relevant, like, I don't want to tell global players, like, hey, you know, make sure you guys save stones for Cooler, because, you know, Cooler might not come till april or something like that right like even may maybe at the latest it could be a while until uh cooler shows up on global so i'm not gonna tell someone like oh you know save stones until then you know we have the info now on the super saiyan blue kaioken goku um that is coming to global first like next week by the way um the, the official global dokkan twitter which has been around for a while but they only recently activated it um and started tweeting with it they did just a little while ago tweet out a tweet in which they confirmed that that blue goku does indeed have kaioken in his name because the original dokkan fest blue kaioken goku did not have kaioken in his name but when they just tweeted it out and then deleted the tweet because they obviously revealed that which i guess they didn't want to do so soon uh, they did reveal that he is going to have Kaioken in his name. Now, that is good for team building, but I guess also bad because you won't be able to farm up his super attack um, with the blue Gokus from the Broly movie, right? That's not going to work. So, uh, I'm probably going to drop... I don't, like, just a quickly deleted tweet. Like, you know, that's going to be like a... a I don't want to make a video on just like one deleted tweet like that, but I'll probably mention it in all my videos I make today that like, you know, don't, if you're on global, don't start farming the Broly event or something like that to prepare blue Gokus for his SA. Cause it, it, it seems from their deleted tweet that they confirmed he does have Kaioken in his name. Um, even during the stream, uh, the producers of the game did seem to say that he has Kaioken in his name. Um, and then, you know, I was doing uh, like kind of like a, a live stream reaction with the homie Goresh, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, and Goresh uh, did at one point mute and just directly listen to what they were saying in Japanese and did say that they did also say that in Japanese, um, that, you know, his name is Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. So, um, I mean, that is good. That's basically a new named character in the game that we'll be able to use with other Blue Gokus and stuff like that. But, I mean, unless they do, like, a Dokkan Festival exclusive Goku from the Resurrection F movie, which they definitely could, <laughs> um, I, I guess it probably won't be that big of a deal. Um, as of right now, it's good because you could use this new Kaioken Goku along with the old Kaioken Goku that doesn't have Kaioken in his name, right? So the two of them are going to be almost perfect linking partners. They're probably both going to be having attack stats of, like, you know, three, four, five million, whatever. It's going to be insane, right? Um, but... 
I suppose there's also the possibility that they could add Kaioken to that old Goku as well. Um, I don't... I don't know if... Uh, honestly, I would say I would prefer that, just because that character, like, that's what he is, is Kaioken Blue Goku. I want his name to be what he is, right? And then they could just give us a better normal Blue Goku at some point in the future. Um, but as of right now, you know, for a lot of players, probably the best case scenario would be if they do not give the old Kaioken Blue Goku Kaioken in his name, because then you could use the two of them together. And it's just really good for team building. So again, Dokkan, Dokkan, I think has had a very, very strong 2019. Um, they've added a lot of like, like holes in like Dokkan, like a bunch of units that really needed good cards. And now they do, you know, how about base form cooler, um, kid Goku, uh, who's another one? Um, I mean, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, he already did have a good card, like a decent card at the end of last year in LR Prime Battle Vegeta. Um, but, you know, Dragon Ball Super Trunks, you know, that was a character that was not, like, did not have, like, a crazy card or anything like that. Um, base form Zamasu is another one who, you know, again, didn't really have, like, a crazy card. Now he does. Um, you know, Goasu, Goasu and Zamasu, like, you know, Kalen Khalifla. Um, I mean, Hit, technically, I think would count as a 2018 card, because he did come out then on glo uh, Global, but, like, even, like, LR Gohan and Goten, uh, Super Saiyan Broly, the LR Tech Broly, like, Super Saiyan, well, no, no, actually, that's wrong, because, uh, he does stupidly share the same name with Dragon Ball Super Broly, and that Dragon Ball Super Broly is still one of the better TURs in the game, so, that wasn't really a hole in Dokkan, per se, you know, Android 13, we just got him, he counts, Base Form Future Gohan counts. Like, these are all, like, like character names. Like, you know, Base Form Future Gohan did not have, like, a, a top-tier card. You know, Android Base Form Android 13 did not have a top-tier card. But now, they do. So, that's really, really good just for all types of team-building purposes and all that stuff. Um, for free-to-play players, whales, everything. Um, by the way, SCR Cooler, as we saw, he was getting smacked around a little bit there. Would he take 40k on a normal attack? That's pretty bad. Um... That's that's really quite bad, but his his even his support type buff is just so nuts. Like I feel like running him on the team is still the way to go as your leader over like Ribrian. Um I guess you could probably I don't know, you could probably just run like an extreme tech team or something like that, right? Like like maybe we could just do like double golden Frieza. Let me take a look at it again. Yeah, we we could just do double golden Frieza, actually. Um, and then here, let me make it, I, I, well, I could, I could still bring Dragon Ball Super Trunks, um, because his defense is probably going to be pretty good, but probably I would put Tech Broly in there over Cooler. I, I'm, hold on, I'm, I'm curious, I'm curious here. Uh, if I back up, are people running Tech Golden Frieza right now? They probably are. Broly, yeah, they are. I, you know what, let's try that. That actually, I think, would be a much, like, if... If you can find Tech Gold and Frieza friends, that is for sure the way to go here. So, here, let me build a team quickly. I'll, I'll build it right uh, here. Um, okay, so we'll go Golden Frieza, Transform Frieza. We want Cell, you, you, you. Boom. Oh, yeah. Th this one is going to work really well because we have so many Frieza family uh, units on the team still. You know, Golden Cooler, Transforming Frieza, the Golden Friezas. Except now we just have this, like, we have two golden freezes on the team. It's just crazy. I um, mean, that LR first form cell is very, very impressive too. Um, I'll do this. That might be able to get me a super attack with cell. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, for that first form cell does heal. I think is it fifteen percent HP? I believe um, on super attack. Uh, so, you know, if you get him even as you know twelve key super attack. He's going to be able to give you that healing back. This cell heals on super attack. Transforming Frieza heals just by being on rotation. Then, of course, having, like, two tech gold and Frieza's here, reducing damage by 80%. And it's just, like, Vegito just can't touch us at all. Like, like there's almost, like, nothing he can do. Um, I'm also really excited to get my Vegito EZ8. Uh, I really want to test him out Super Battle Road, all these different types of events, and uh, see how nasty that boy can be. Okay, so, boom, this is perfect. Uh, yep, we'll do this right there. Bam. And then Tech Broly is going to have a super attack. Tech Broly is definitely going to be really good to bring here because he's going to be able to get that active skill sometimes. Uh, you know, only turn four. That's definitely something you can hit with this team. Like, no doubt about that. So, you know, then at that point, Broly, uh, our boy Broly-sama, he's going to be you know, 
damage. <laughs> as soon as we get to turn four and he activates that, it's over, basically, is what's going to happen. Because um, in, in, like, an EZA event, like, he's just going to do all the health Vegito's got, right? Like, <laughs> so, I mean, this isn't really going to be a tough EZA, though. Um, I would imagine a lot of people have probably got some of these, you know, strong transformation boost units. And looking at it, too, I mean, am I crazy or... Yeah, it's like you can use the extreme version of AGL, Tech, STR, and Physical all do normal damage. Extreme Int seems like it's completely blocked. I guess because of Buhan. <laughs> They're like, yeah, well, he did kind of dunk on Buhan, so we don't need to let him be able to do any damage. But the rest of the units is fine. That seems to be like what they're, what they're saying there. Um, yeah, I'll do this. That green key is going to fall down. It did not the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. Actually, I maybe should have hit those ones right there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, three dodge. Look at that. Look at the three dodge, man. I'm telling y'all, that three dodge, don't sleep on it. it. It can be useful sometimes. You know, we would have won anyway, but it's still nice dodging a super attack like that. Very, very fun. So yeah, considering how good the transformation boost um, category is and how many different extreme types of units you can use... I mean, that, so that means, like, Baby, Android 13, EGL Zamasu. Like, all these units are in play to do, like, real damage. LR Cell. Like, all both LR Cells. Like, they're all in play. Um, so, I imagine, like, everyone should be able to do this fairly easily. I would think, really, the only issue may be just Leader. But, again, like, I, I would I would imagine a lot of people have Ribrian. Um, that, that Int Ribrian. Because she's, she's a very common unit. And, like, you know, she's on pretty much every banner, so. But I guess, I mean, I mean, I guess there are going to be people that don't have Cooler, Boo, or Ribrian. Um, let me take a look at the two leaders, what exactly their stats are. So, yeah, so Frieza gives 77%. I mean, could be worse. You, you could definitely get the job done with that. Um, but then, the yeah, the, the Golden Frieza is only 2 key and 50%. See, that's pretty bad. So, you, you want to avoid having to use Golden Frieza if possible, but... The, the category roster is so strong that you'll be able to go to get away with it just with um, that Frieza if it came down to it, right? Because, again, this, the units you could use are so strong all over the board that the chances are very high that people um, are going to have at least some powerful variants of these characters. Okay, we're going we're gonna to lead off with Broly, actually. Um, not something I would typically do, but the fact that we can almost max his key out means we're going to be able to do critical damage to Vegito here. And obviously, I don't think we're going to die. Maybe I should have put Tech Gold and Frieza at the back, but, you know, again, I'm not really too scared we're going to die here. Uh, so almost a 3 million attack set is good, but I guess without having him linked up with another Saiyan, you know, have like Super Saiyan active and stuff like that, like his damage is good, but nothing special. We did get an additional super attack, though. That's good. Um, again, once you get to turn 4 and that active skill comes out, it's like, bye, Vegito. <laughs> <laughs> have fun see ya also i am noticing that we, we are we are taking a little bit of damage like golden cooler was already taking damage uh from normal attacks i mean he's not the greatest defensive unit um but he it is that supportability he gives is nice so you know the lower stats we have from having double golden frieza as leader compared to you know having the double cooler as leader plus you know cooler's massive support type buff that he's going to be given the whole time uh, wow, okay, so this is a pretty rare rotation to get here. This is pretty annoying, actually. Um, I guess I'll do this, and then that's gonna fall like that. So then, yeah, Tech Cell can then take care of it, and then Frieza gets a super attack right there. Okay, perfect. So, we're done. Uh, Vegito is gonna be completed. I'm gonna be able to get all the medals I need to EZA this man. So, I'm gonna go ahead, um, fully EZA him. I'll do another rainbow video for him. We're gonna test him on all of his teams. Uh, all three of his teams, right? The Boo Saga team, Katara, Super Saiyan... We're going to see how dominant um, this Vegito is going to be. The answer is very. Uh, then I'm going to take him into the Super Battle Road. We'll take him into the Goku event. We're going to take him into all these places um, and see how impressive um, EGL EZ8 Vegito is. Again, just from what I've seen already, though, he is very, very strong. So thanks, guys, for watching, um, and I'll catch you all next time.